hi guys welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and watch this video up to the end so this is a family function so this is how we started the whole thing uh, this is like the our living room so we're just making preparation to welcome our family members and of course close friends so in my can this is how we usually put our sofa sets we usually decorate them this is mostly what you'll find in the local kenya community most houses when you go in you find they have decorated the sofa sets with uh, we call them the tamba hello hello guys welcome to my channel so today we have a function family function family get together uh yeah so join me i hope you enjoy this content so don't forget to subscribe and don't touch that button. Don't touch that button, okay? Watch this video up to the end. And please, guys, subscribe, subscribe. So if you go to any family function in Kenya, <laughs> even in Mombasa, there is usually food which is playing a main, main part in family functions or or even whichever function it is, they has to have food. So this is called dania in Kiswahili. We usually use uh, 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 spices to, uh, to give food uh, uh, the, the flavor. So the onions. So basically here we are just trying to prepare ingredients for the family function. Yeah, so everything is down there as you can see. I just wanted to show you basically what's happening uh, when we are preparing for local fam family. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek on how we go about it. So here we are making snacks for breakfast. So the, here it was basically mahambri, we call them. It's a very popular snack. Uh, it's usually made out of wheat and of course, um, uh, is it raising flour, raising flour? And of course, from there you shape it like the way you're seeing in the picture in the video here. Then once you have finished all that, then of course you're going to put in the hot frying pan. So you see this big uh, pan you're seeing over here? We use them to cook uh, rice, that is pilau. Uh, pilau is a very popular uh, meal in the coastal region in Mombasa in Kenya. Every time there's a family function or any other function, usually have uh, pilau. So you can see here we are preparing the meat plus other ingredients. These are my family members. Of course, you can see my mom and other the cook. We hire a cook to cook for us uh, because it's uh, we were cooking around 50 kilograms of rice. So it was a bit um, it's a bit high. It's very heavy to be honest to cook 50 kilograms of rice. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek on how we do the do family functions. Uh, so it was a big family function where we invite you close friends, family members and we are going to give uh, thanksgiving, we are going to uh, say thank you for you know having family together and at the same time we are also going to say prayers to our lost departed uh, dear relatives who passed away. So this one is Mahambri, so like I told you when you finish we are going to put in the hot frying pan as you can see there. We are using a charcoal jiko. Uh, why? Because it's very affordable and also the charcoal is very easily available in Mombasa, in Kenya. So this is how we usually do it. It's a Swahili way of cooking food and it's very affordable. It's easily available to most uh, Kenyan families. So this is how Mahamri look like as you can see in the picture, in the video. Uh, so I'm going to make sure the Mahamri, they turn into golden brown. Uh, that's the time I'll know it's cooked. So right now it's not yet cooked. Yeah, so when I turn it over, it's going to be uh, golden brown as you can see there. Yeah, as you can see in the video, you can see she's waiting. We're waiting to turn it to be golden, golden brown. So, like I told, I was telling you guys, uh, Mahambri is a very, very popular snack. We usually, uh, you eat for breakfast, lunch, even supper. The accompaniment can be either tea. You can either use it to uh, with the beef stew or even soup, just plain soup. Uh, even you can eat uh, this Mahambri with even. Um, um, beans stew or meat stew or fish stew or even uh, pizza i mean people usually eat this thing with a lot of uh, accompaniment it's, the choice is yours at the end of the day i usually like this snack because it's very affordable to make it's uh, it's also very popular it's very delicious and uh, as you can see there it's usually when you can eat one or two or three and you feel you're full so you can take this as breakfast and decide you know what i'm not gonna take any lunch 
because it's very a uh, well satisfying meal. So right now you can see that it's golden brown, the mahambri. Uh, we usually call the mahambri. It's a popular Swahili snack. And 45 million Kenyans usually eat this type of meal. Okay, so it's ready. We are removing it, as you can see in the video. So you're going to do this. You're going to repeat the same process over and over until you finish um, all the mahambri. See, on that table, there are so many small pieces of mahambri. So you repeat this process until you finish all the mahambri, as you can see there. By the way, that ho o the oil is very, very hot. So usually when you're cooking, you have to be very careful. You have to pay attention. Otherwise, you can literally cause an accident. So the mahambri are literally going to be ready. Uh, I was saying one kilogram of uh, flour, wheat flour, you can literally remove around over 100 pieces of mahambri. So you can see my friend over there, he did he, he, the, the chicken likes likes to hang around me to be honest <laughs> everywhere i go it just likes to be next to me all right so there i'm having my carrots so you can see there i'm, I'm preparing parts of the ingredients uh to cook the food i was telling you we are going to cook pilau as you can look at my videos in my channel you have seen the way i've, I've talked about the pilau i show you you are cooking pilau in our backyard with a big pan uh, the cook was cooking for us so here we are still continuing uh, preparing the ingredients so that is uh, dania we are cutting it into smaller smaller pieces i can see a bit of garlic over there all this as you can see in the video they're going to be put in the food called pilau yes so you see this one uh, this is the um, tomato paste we have literally blend the tomato we had like uh, over uh, i can I say we have like five kilograms of uh, tomatoes ripe uh, tomatoes so we peel the to uh, the tomatoes and then we blend it so we have that whole there mahambri can see there i just wanted to show you a bit of each and every picture so that's that's uh, tomato it was uh, blended we are going to make out of it we're going to make chili out of it chili sauce out of the tomato you can see there that's a lot of chili to be honest yes that is a lot a lot a lot of chili to be honest so after that this is you're going to use this chili in the pilau uh, we like uh, to eat a lot of spices this is kachumbari that that salad to be honest we have made salad out of um, also again to put inside the kachin, uh, the pilau. Check the other videos you'll see after uh, we've cooked pilau in the backyard and it was a lot and we served the whole community, close family, friends and everybody. So we are mixing the salad we are preparing to put in the, we serve it together with the pilau as you can see there and the food was very delicious. So basically this is an example of how we cook chili. Uh, you see that whole tomato, you're seeing that big pan, I'm just giving you an example. So this is how we cook chili. So what happened is the tomato is blended, then we mix with onions, and then of course we boil it, and no, we fry it, and then we make sure it's thick, the, the paste has to be very, very thick. We add a bit of salt, vinegar, and of course more pepper, more powder, more pepper, and the, the, then here we have chili. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe.